Hey guys, Edgelord here. Um, so I'm making a video to kind of follow up on my Is Black Mask Gay video. Um, and so I went and saw Birds of Prey on February 7th. Um, the day after it officially premiered and I can honestly say without a doubt it's probably my uh, most favorite comic book movie that I've seen at least in a really long time. Um, I love the colors, the story, the characters, just everything about it. Um, it was just it was such a refreshing uh, just such a refreshing vision from um, like kind of all the grim dark stuff that um, that DC's been doing for a while, not to rag on, um, like, Zack Snyder or anything or any of the other movies, um, because I, I did enjoy them, but they just, they were not, um, my favorite. Um, but it was really refreshing to watch, like, a group of women kick a bunch of ass and then go get margaritas, like, that's such a mood, honestly. So the big question here is, was Black Mask gay? Um, maybe. They kind of left it open. They didn't really insinuate that he was gay or straight or anything else, which is kind of on par with the comics. Um, but I will say that Ewan McGregor brought Roman Sionis to life. Like, it was like Roman Sionis jumped out of the comic book and possessed him. It was so good. He was exactly how he is in the comics. And <laughs> I just, um... Like, probably my, like, just probably the best depiction of a comic book villain that, um, that there is. Um, <laughs> it's way better than any interpretation of the Joker I've ever seen. Um, so, like, he was, he was snobby, he was vain, he was misogynistic, he was arrogant. Uh, just all of those things that Roman Sionis is, like, he, he did it. Um, and then the other thing is... Uh, this is spoilers, obviously, um, but one of the things that kind of set off the whole, like, Roman Sionis being gay and, um, bounding into comics, I think, uh, was the name of the website, I have to double check, bounding into comics, uh, leaked it to pedophilia, saying that Cassandra Cain, uh, swallowed a diamond with Roman's dick pics inside them. Uh, that's not at all what happened. Uh, the diamond doesn't contain dick pics. It contains, like, a bank account information to a very large sum of money, and that's what Roman wants. So, suck my dick, Grace Randolph, and Bounding Into Comics. Go fuck yourselves. Thank you. Okay, and so the second half of this video, um, I just wanted to... I, I guess I've never really, like, entered myself um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, myself because I love to talk about me um, I'm just kidding I mean I do like who doesn't like to talk about themselves but that's not the point um, so I just kind of wanted to introduce myself and just um, sort of tell you guys who I am and what I'm about so um, about me, I just turned 29 on February 19th, uh, I'm almost 30, <laughs> and I'm not anxious about it at all. Um, I have chronic depression, OCD, panic disorder, and agoraphobia. Those are not things that I'm just making up, those are real, uh, diagnoses that I, that I, you know, I've gone to multiple psychiatrists and gotten the same, same diagnosis. Um... So, <laughs> I am contending with all of that, and um, I really enjoy video games. My favorite video game is probably Mass Effect 2. Uh, my favorite movie is Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, my favorite food is chimichangas. Um, and then I'm also really into Star Wars lately. Um, no, not because of Rise of Skywalker. I, um... Kind of last, I mean, I always liked Star Wars, but kind of last year I, like, really got into it. Like, really deeply got into it. And, uh, it's in large part to, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name fully, so I'm probably gonna butcher it, but Kieran Gillen's, uh, Darth Vader 2015. That book is amazing. I totally recommend it. Like, everybody go read it. Um, and, 
Uh, and then I started watching, like, Clone Wars. I still have to f- finish Rebels. Um, but Clone Wars is really good. And then also The Mandalorian came out. And, oh my god, it's amazing. (laughs) But, um, my favorite Star Wars movie is Rogue One. I'm not saying it's the best Star Wars movie. I'm just saying it's my favorite one to watch. Don't kill me. Um, my celebrity crushes currently are Margot Robbie, Gina Carano, uh, Pedro Pascal, and as always, Keanu Reeves. I mean, who doesn't have a crush on Keanu Reeves? Um, my hobbies are writing, drawing, and editing videos. Um, I, this is currently a list of the video ideas, uh, that I'm researching and working on. Um, I'm gonna start trying to work on a video release schedule. I don't have anything planned just yet, um, but, um, these are gonna be the things that, um, I'm working on. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm really sorry that I've been gone so long, uh, the last year, I mean, really couple years, but last year especially, um, I went through, like, a lot of really rough personal things, and, um, I've been trying to just sort of rebuild myself, um, and work through that, um, doing, doing YouTube, making YouTube videos, um, is, is sort of something that I've kind of wanted to do for a long time, I just haven't really had... Um, I guess the courage or, um, it just like (laughs) my anxiety and depression egg me into not making videos pretty much. Um, and, um, it's, it's really hard to like (laughs) get that motivation when your own brain is like, don't do it. Nobody cares. But, um, I've kind of reached the point where it's just like. I just, I'm gonna fucking do it. I don't care anymore. Um, it might work out. It might not. But, you know, the, the least I can do is try. And so, um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now, emotionally. But, um, oh, I also have a Twitch channel that I just stream on when I'm kind of bored. Um, and I'll link to that if you're interested in it. Um, but anyways, I just want to say, uh, to everyone, thank you so much for sticking around and following me, and, um, I hope to see you again soon. So, everybody be kind to yourselves. Peace.